picture this. It's really early in the morning. It's around 4 a.m. to be specific. The date is August 6th, 1915. The winds are blowing in a favorable direction for the German soldiers that are about to launch a surprise attack on the Russian soldiers defending Oswick Fortress. Suddenly, they unleash 30 gas balloon batteries that contain a mixture of chlorine and bromine, which, by the way, can make it look like this, on the Russian forces that had taken up shelter in Oswick Fortress, and a dark green smog began creeping up on Russian lines. Now. Picture this, you're suddenly awoken by a loud blood-curdling scream, and you feel like your lungs are on fire. The German gas reached the 900 Russian soldiers occupying Auschwitz fortress, killing approximately 800 of the 900 Russian soldiers. Then, suddenly, you hear the sound of artillery fire bombarding the fort you're defending. Then, over 12 battalions of soldiers, 7 to 8,000 to be exact, charged. 60 to 100 of you and your Russian comrades somehow survived. Despite being outnumbered approximately 80 to 1, if I did my math correctly, you and your 60 to 100 comrades, led by 2nd Lieutenant Vladimir Kotlinsky, launched a counterattack. Now, obviously, the Germans thought that the gas should have killed all the Russian soldiers, so you got the advantage. You're spitting out little chunks of your lungs and coughing up blood. The sheer sight of this scared your German attackers to the point where they dropped their guns and ran.